Yay! Yay! Round of applause. Thank you. <laughs> Tell us uh, briefly how you two met. It sounds like there's a local connection there, right? Oh yes, and very local. Very local. Practically then. around the corner. Uh, well, we met at Smith College. We sang a cappella, collegiate a cappella. Turns out. It's not as cool as I thought it was. While it was happening, I thought collegiate acapella was like the epitome of cool. Yeah, I did not. I'm, I'm re But I thought Maggie was cool. Here we are. That. But yeah, we, we met singing. Um, we entered a songwriting contest together as, as a duo because of that. Yeah, and the rest is kind of history. Were you playing on campus together by the time you graduated? Yes. We came out with our first album while Maggie was still in school. We were. Couldn't stop. Once we got started, she went to Ecuador, she came back, we still kept playing all throughout. And not only that, but you no longer live in the area, right? I do not. I live in Queens, yeah. Maggie and I have almost in, we've been playing for seven years, and we've never lived in the same place, really. It's very inconvenient. <laughs> <laughs> but we said that. Somehow. somehow it works. Yeah. How, how, how do you make that work? What for example, can? Hannah woke up at five o'clock this morning to meet me in Greenfield at nine. And it's very early. And is now going to turn around and go home for work tomorrow, so. Yeah, but, I don't know, it's also just, I think, like, we hold each other accountable. I am knowing that we have things on the calendar, and you don't want to be the one who shows up. There's only two of us, so we don't want to be the one who shows up and is clearly not practiced. So we both practice a lot individually, and whenever we're together, we snag a few hours of rehearsals. But it's very, um, it's a, I don't know it's how it works, but way to it's do it does, yeah. yeah. The internet helps a lot too. A lot. We like you, use GarageBand. Yeah. How does the songwriting process work? You said you entered a songwriting contest in the first. We time. did. Yeah. We did with our first song that we ever wrote together. That we'll probably never ever sing ever again. Yeah, if we have our way. <laughs> um, I'd say usually one of us is the primary songwriter on on any song, and the other one kind of fills in the gaps. But there's only a handful of songs that we actually wrote Completely totally together. Separately. Or. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I was going to say, well, like, start to finish, there's only a few songs that we wrote completely we were, like, together. In the same but room, it, I would say the same time. a lot of the songs, like, especially on our upcoming record, Maggie or I brought to the other person, and then either we took all those particular chunks and moved them around like puzzle pieces, or we, like, expanded on parts of the song or cut them down or added harmonies or what have you. It's, it's always a bit of a... I trust Maggie to take me back from my uh, musical theater roots because I'm always writing Broadway songs by accident. <laughs> and I, Maggie trusts me to pull her back from her sort of like punk roots. I did. I, I was like raised on, I was like in garage bands in middle school. That's kind of where I started playing music, whereas Hannah was like performing a cabaret a cappella in middle school. Yeah. So we, it's like a check and balance kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, checks like, and balances. Yeah. Because this works so well for her. Is the song <laughs> in the middle of those two things, or is it to just start in a different, on a different planet musically? I feel like folk music kind of weirdly lands in between. It does. Those things. Is that true? We've definitely written songs, and my mom's been like, "Wow, I hear so much sun time in this." Or we write songs, and I hear a lot of Green Day in it from the other way around. I mean, in a good way. In a good way. Is that not? Is that like no, no, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm projecting. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and I think. We both were, we, our parents are, are folk, folk music yeah. people, so we have yeah. that in common. And you've been together for seven years, is that what you said? Somehow, yeah. yeah. That's accurate. Been yeah. playing music, yeah. being friends, being band. It's great that you've been friends that whole time and kept playing. What's changed, though? Have you been growing up and moving around? And what has changed? <laughs> what has not changed would yeah. be the better question. Yeah. Pretty much everything has changed around us, and our music keeps on chugging along sort of at the heart of it. It's kind of the only consistent we've moved, thing. We've both, uh, well, we've got this album coming out in May, and it's called Oh No, because we both went through pretty major transitions in the time that this album's come together. We both kind of went through big breakups and moves and infestations. Of bed bugs. It's been a mess. <laughs> <laughs> um, but somehow, music is always kind of at the heart of us and returning us to our real selves. We had a lot of weekends last year where we were recording and I would show up like completely a mess, like just a disastrous sobbing puddle and somehow the music would be like the thing that would recall me to my senses. So, yeah, a lot has changed. Yeah. We got, we got to hug it out now, oh my god. It's like a 
therapy session. I'm really happy to be both here. I know we all are. Thank you. Thank you for having us. All right.